So the consequences of understanding a new market are essential for a startup. This was a startup killer for decades. In a new market, there are no customers. So revenues might extend out for years. In fact, if you think about what happened during the dot-com bubble in the beginning of the 21st century, is every startup executed like they were in an existing market. They hired salespeople, they spent marketing dollars, and in, in scale of tens of millions of dollars, trying to create end user demand for a market that didn't exist. Just imagine what would have happened if those startups would have parked their capital in a bank, getting interest, and doing guerrilla activities to help start the market. Because the market wasn't there. There is no way any individual startup can accelerate technology diffusion. So for a new market to take off, lots of things external to your startup need to happen. Regulation needs to change. Platforms need to become cheaper. Customer tastes need to change, etc. The dot-com bubble was actually predicated on all of these things happening all at once, and they didn't. And therefore, all that money that got raised got spent trying to acquire customers when there were none. The test for whether you're in a new market is not whether 30 people in your uh, regional cluster or in Silicon Valley or New York have heard about your technology. The, the real test is whether your grandmother in Omaha or Berlin or in Uganda actually have heard about the technology, or the product, or the market. And if the market doesn't exist there, you might be spending a lot of money trying to create a market where there is none. Premature spending is the killer for startups.